Bob, we've had an interesting time here getting a little bit of background on flight display systems and the value proposition you're bringing to a market that, let's face it, has had a bit of a turbulent couple of years. Let's talk about the individual technologies. Uh, let's start first with cabin management systems and what you're bringing to the market. Well, what we're bringing to a market is a very integrated cabin management system, and that's really what the definition of a cabin management system is. It's tying the window shades, the lights, the in-flight entertainment all together into one usable interface. And that's what this really does. This one is a 10.2 inch touchscreen cabin control module and this is meant to be installed in a galley of any type of jet. So what you'll have is for example our home screen. You'll have different things to describe a galley. See the calls. That would be for a flight attendant uh, when the passenger has a call. It'll come up on the screen. The flight attendant can do whatever they need to do and clear that. Back at the home screen, they can control things like the lights. So you can turn on white lights for upwash, downwash, any type of aisle lights, control window shades, and then even control water temperature. So they will see that the water temperature is reading, know how much water they have on the aircraft, as well as any other you know, functions that will be in there as well. And then we can move around to some of the other sizes. Well, this one here is a 4.3 inch touchscreen control uh, module. And this one could either be in a galley or in a VIP station in a credenza. We've found many different uses for them. We can have it with a headphone jack or without for obvious reasons. But here we would be able to select our video sources between numerous sources. We can even adjust our cabin volume going up, going down, any different way you would like. You can watch direct TV and the button in here, you can even select all your different channels. Going back home, you can also press the call and that would come up on the display that we saw previously. You can control your window shades right from your seat and you can even adjust the cabin temperature all at this one station along with controlling any lights that you may have at that seat. Well, here we've got a single, double, and triple OLED switches. OLED is organic light emitting diode, so these are actually switches, but they're also monitors. So the picture on here can change to whatever is needed. So if you watch this one, it flushes the toilet, it moves the handle. It can be as much as turning on and off lights, and it can be calling flight attendants, which you'll see a green box or a blue box go around that to indicate that the call has been made and you can even clear the call. You can adjust everything at your seat from turning on table and reading lights to adjusting window shades. And then you can adjust all your entertainment. So here are all your video sources. You've got different audio sources and even a moving map. And these could be used for absolutely anything in the cabin because they are extremely flexible. That's the way we've designed them. And the icons can be absolutely anything in the world. So if they want to have a picture of a flute instead of a saxophone, that can be done. They're extremely flexible. That's it. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.